Welcome back. I'm Calvin, Statue Fanatic, and welcome to another episode of Collecting on a Budget. This is a show where I show you some really cool collectibles that you can collect and not break the bank. Now, today what I'm going to talk about is a statue from Iron Studios of uh, Spider-Gwen. But before we do that, a lot of people like to see what the box looks like, so I set Spider-Gwen aside, and I will talk a little bit about the box. So what it looks like in terms of the box on the top, it has Spider Gwen, her logo, pictures of the statue. Very interesting picture right here that I'll talk about that's also on the uh, side of the box. And I'll tell you what that's about in a minute. Shows that it was, um, it's a one-tenth scale figure and it was sculpted by Raphael Albuquerque, it looks like. I didn't know him specifically, so I looked up some of his work and I've seen a lot of his artwork and there's some like black and white Batman statues that have been sculpted by him or inspired by his work. So you can check that out. But without further ado, let's talk about the statue. As I said before, it's a one-tenth scale statue from Iron Studios of Spider-Gwen. And in terms of how the statue looks and everything, it looks really cool. The pose is extremely dynamic. I like that about her. And if you just look at the statue, you kind of don't know what's going on. She's, um, she's posed on what looks to be some pipes or something like that. And you can't really figure out what's happening there. You, you don't even know if these two things are some like guns or something. I don't know. But she's posed in pretty dynamic pose there. Uh, maybe even doing some type of acrobatic stuff or Olympic stuff. So you don't really know. But we'll get to that in a moment because that's significant. But in terms of how the statue is sculpted itself and her entire body, she looks good. Um, didn't find any real issues or anything like that with the statue. It's painted fairly decent. Um, there are some paint issues like around her shoes where the paint, the blue paint is um, on her um, costume there. But overall, it looks good. Interesting thing about it is that it is a PVC piece. And I say that's interesting because of the price. And we'll get to that in a minute as well. But otherwise, the hood looks good. Um, it's pretty secure on here. And it's a pretty nice piece. There's some nice detail and shading on the parts of whatever this is, which I'll talk about, uh, which is really cool. But overall, it, it's a good piece. The statue retails for anywhere, from what I've seen, somewhere around $90 to $100 for this statue. And, it, and mind you, it is pretty tiny. Now, I keep going back and forth with this little what this is and all of that stuff. But what this actually goes to is a complete diorama that forms some type of smokestack where Gwen... Venom, Carnage, and Spider-Man are engaged in some type of battle of some sort. Now, as you can see with the picture, when you put all those together, they look absolutely great. The problem is that Spider-Gwen is the least expensive of all of them. The others are about $125. They're about maybe a little bit more depending on where you got it from, making the entire set over $500 to own all of these characters and put them together. Now, if you're a huge Spider-Gwen fan, maybe you might want to pick this up because she does look pretty cool. But it is a really small statue with not a whole lot of presence. So it would kind of get hidden in your collection if there isn't something to make her stand out. And that diorama absolutely does that. So I was kind of hesitant to make this part of collected on a budget because the statue itself doesn't really have a whole lot of appeal if it's not with the other characters in that dynamic exchange that you see going on and when you put the entire thing together. That's what you see on the box as well. Here, you can see where the artist has drawn the, uh, the four statues there, the four figures. As far as the way it looks, I mean, in terms of her sculpt, I mean, she looks great. The colors look good. Um, the only issue, like I said, was the shoes didn't look like they were painted that well. But as I look around the statue, the sculpting on her arms and everything, all of that, it's actually sculpted. It's just not painted. It looks good. Even as tiny as her hands are, um, the you could see her knuckles and all of that. So, I mean, I, I like the sculpt on the statue, but this really pains me that you, even at, if you were the biggest Spider-Gwen, you know, fan of all, you'd still probably, you know, I don't know, maybe this would go on your desk, 
But knowing that there is this diorama out there that forms this um, this really cool scene and you would have to pay that much to get the whole thing kind of, you know, I don't know that I would want to do that. And the other thing, I'm not sure about the other figures, but I know this figure is PVC. You can tell even her hood is plastic or PVC because it moves. Um, it's not like a resin or anything like that, which for some collectors that would really matter paying $100 for a small piece like this, where there are actually gallery um, figures of Spider-Gwen that are substantially bigger, also PVC, but with tons more detail. So I really wanted to like this a lot because I've seen it at two different cons. I've seen it at San Diego Comic Con all put together and I've seen it at New York Comic Con all put together and seeing it in Iron Studios to you know take on this with all the characters together makes it look really cool. But now as I've thought about it and having it in hand and it being such a small piece with such a price tag on just one of the pieces, I don't know that I will collect all of the other ones um, in this uh, you know series. But I just wanted to bring it to you guys to tell you there's nothing artistic about it that I don't like. It is just that this is one of those one times where, you know, it, it may be a bit much in terms of price. Now, I've rambled on enough about that, and that will pretty much conclude my review of um, Spider-Gwen from Iron Studios. Not a bad figure, but be mindful. She does not have much of a presence by herself if you don't get the entire set. So until next time, make sure you continue to stay tuned right here to MCE and check out more videos and unboxings and cool things like that. Uh, things from Seth like What's Popping, our show on Monday nights, that geek show, make sure you check that out. Ariel just joined our team. Uh, a lot of fun on Monday nights at eight o'clock central. So until next time, my friends, keep it marvelous.